loves. So, welcome back sa ating video lesson about entrepreneurship. So, again, I am your mom, Allen, uh, to give you an overview of what's inside our module. Okay, so, ipa-flash ko lang ang ating module. So, we are now in the module 2, lesson 3, titled, Screen the Proposed Solutions Based on Viability, Profitability, and Customer Requirements. Okay, so again, thank you po kila Ma'am Elsa Lakindanu for the module. Okay, so you have the lessons. Uh, we already discussed uh, the lesson 1 and 2. So we are now in the lesson 3. Okay, so you have your preliminary activities, what I know. So you choose from uh, the choices inside the box. And then, lesson 3. Okay, according to uh, this statement, if yung product na ma ilalagay ninyo sa business plan, well, if you decided to implement it or talagang gusto nyo magtayo ng negosyo, bago nyo siya i-test or bago kayo mag-produce ng maraming uh, bulk orders or bulk items, ini-test nyo muna siya sa market. So, magkakaroon kayo ng market research. So, bago kayo mag-release ng maramihan. So, pwede kayong gumawa ng mga uh, few products para, let's say, for example, if food items yan, ipapa-taste test nyo sa market. Kapag mga, let's say, devices, gadgets, ipapa-product uh, demo nyo. Okay? So, konti muna yung uh, ipoproduce ninyo, then ipapatry ninyo siya sa inyong customer. Okay? So, if magkakaroon siya ng appeal sa inyong uh, intended target market. Okay? So, using this, you could at least assess if magugustuhan siya ng inyong uh, customers, tulad nung dinis ka sa atin sa mga unang lessons, if para ba siya sa mga uh, babies, para ba siya sa mga teenagers, or para siya sa mga ating mga senior citizens. Okay? So, if mag a sa kanila, and then uh, you could do or you could produce a little more uh, orders para maibenta sa inyong market. Next, okay, what's in? This is also an activity. Okay, you could choose uh, from the choices inside the box. Also, additional activity for what's new. Okay, so you have the post here naman. Now, for what is it? Here, it discuss about several ways kung paano kayo makakapag tayo ng business. Okay, so you could choose dito sa apat na ito kung ano yung pipiliin ninyo at kung ano yung magiging focus ng inyong business plan. Okay, so you have uh, make, manufacture, wholesale, or the dropship. So, this is uh, the first thing you need to uh, recognize kung ano ang inyong gagawin. So, first, you have the make. So, here, uh, sabi niya dito, this is the relatively easy doon sa apat. Dahil, uh, hindi siya uh, complicated and also, hindi siya magastos. Okay? So, Pwede, ito yung mga homemade products. Ganun. Let's say, ito, uh, coconut oil-based hair care. Okay, so from, oh, mula sa pagkayot uh, siguro ng buko, hanggang sa paglalagay ng mga fragrance, hanggang sa maging hair care product siya, ikaw ang gagawa. Okay, so, let's say, sa bahay mo lang siya gagawin. Also, yung mga mm, food items, let's say, yung mga homemade cookies, Okay? So, yung mga gumagawa ng mga churros, yung mga ganyan. Yung mga nag-boom these days. Okay? So, that is the first one you make. The next one is manufacture. Uh, this one is uh, a lot more advanced compared dito sa isa. Kasi magkakaroon ka ng manufacturing partner. So, let's say, for example, i-outsource mo yung paggawa uh, ng oil. Let's say, dito sa coconut base oil. And then, i-outsource mo na yung paglalagay ng uh, fragrance doon sa uh, coconut oil. Okay? Hanggang sa maging product siya. And then, the bottling. Okay? 
So, that is uh, the manufacturer. Next is the wholesale. Here, you are not going to create an item or the product, but you are going to purchase it wholesale. Let's say, for example, uh, you have company A. So, si company A, siya yung magpo-produce or siya yung manufacture ng coconut oil-based product. Ikaw si company B. So, ikaw, ang magpo-place lang ng order kay uh, manufacturer, company A, ng mga coconut item. Okay? Pero, ikaw na yung magbebenta. Okay? So, you resell them in your own website. So, kukuha ka lang sa kanya kay manufacturer ng mga products na ibibenta mo sa iyong market. So, wala kang gagawin, wala kang tatrabahuhin na products. You are only focusing on reselling the product. Okay? But, you are also going to uh, charge yourself for the transportation. Let's say, for example, uh, our transportation from manufacture to your, let's say, uh, inventory warehouse. Okay? The last one in these ways to build your business is the uh, dropship. Okay? So, for dropship, compared to wholesale, uh, you don't have to carry any inventory yourself. So, told the sabi kanina, si wholesale, say, for example, after niya makapag, uh, makakuha ng mga items or inventory kay manufacturer, iladala niya sa kanyang inventory warehouse. Dito kay dropship, wala siyang inventory hawak. Let's say, for example, there is a customer na magpi-place ng order kay dropship, and then, ilalayarek niya kay wholesale. Okay? So, kailangan, let's say, kailangan ko ng 10 boxes ng uh, coconut oil hair-based product. So, i-order niya kay wholesale, and then ibabagsak ni wholesale kay dropship, and then si dropship, ibibigay na niya kay customer. Okay? So, wala siyang inventory. So, kapag may order lang, either kukontak siya kay wholesale or kay manufacturer. Okay? So, ganun yung trabaho ni dropship. Best example could be yung mga online platforms. Si Lazada, si Shopee. Okay? Then, yung mga Shopify. Okay? So, yun yung mga uh, dropshipping businesses. Now, let's go to the market-based criteria. Okay? This would uh, help you better understand your product you're going to offer in the market. Okay? You have, uh, I think, 16 criteria. And this criteria, criteria uh, you can use this to answer what's more activity. Okay? So, let's have a quick glance of this criteria. So, I, I believe these are internal and external factors to consider. So, first market-based criteria is the potential market size or demand. So, you could at least search uh, online kung gaano ba kadami yung population. Let's say, for example, kung teenager yung target market, so ilan yung population nila. Okay? Kung mga infant, yung mga babies, or mga senior citizen, ilan sila. Okay? So, gauging market size and demand can be difficult nga naman. Yes, that's true. Uh, you could also do some uh, market survey or you could at least go to maybe um, uh, government offices to at least give or uh, get an estimate uh, population, let's say for example, para lang ma uh, malaman ninyo kung ilan ba yung average ng mga ganong edad na target market ninyo. Okay. Next is who are the competitors? Okay. So, let's say for example, um, ano bang, let's say, ayan, uh, mga milk tea shops. Okay? So, ilan yung competitors mo sa lugar na yon. So, uh, it's always good to know kung sino nga naman ba yung, yung mga kakalaban sa market. Okay? So, uh, knowing them, you could at least uh, ta uh, tackle or uh, do something na mas magkaka-competitive advantage ka compare sa kanila or sa mga ginagawa nila. Let's say, sa mga promotions, ano yung current promo nila ano ang panlaban mo doon na promo naman. Okay? Number three is, okay, uh, is it a trend, a fad, a flat, or going market? Ano ba yung product na i-offer mo? Okay? So, uh, sikat ba siya ngayon? Or, pansamantalang sikat lang siya? 
or yung demand niya is uh, continuous but flat, walang nagpa-fluctuate, okay? Or is it a growing market? So, over the time, tumataas siya. Um, let's say, for example, um, biglang nag, uh, naging trend dahil sa COVID, yung mga face mask, okay? Face shield. Before, uh, madalang naman sa atin ang gumagamit ng mga yan, but now it is a requirement every time na lalabas tayo, okay? Um, a fad, ito yung mga biglang tumaas, tapos bumaba din ang uh, sales. Uh, let's say, for example, um, though it is uh, uh, not a physical product, yung mga games, na online games na biglang uh, nag-boom, let's say yung Pokemon Go, bigla siya nag-boom, but, but then, uh, bigla din bumaba yung kanyang uh, mga shares ng mga gamers. Okay? Uh, okay, with regards to flat uh, products or services, these are the necessities or the essentials, uh, regardless of brands. Okay? So, yung mga food supplies, yung mga household products, mga toiletries. Okay? Though, minsan may mga seasonal products, pero after nung season, uh, flat pa rin siya. Okay? Next is the growing market. Uh, with this, uh, makikita naman natin kung ano yung mga continuously na mag-grow. Let's say, in this uh, situation na meron tayo, uh, the growing markets are the online selling platforms. Okay? So, since parang hindi na uh, magpupunta sa mga physical stores, nagkakaroon na ng mga uh, yung mga dropshipping nga na diniscuss ko kanina. Okay, next is number four. Okay? Uh, can you potential customers buy the product locally? So, in your locality, uh, madami bang, let's say for example, ano ang madaming products available doon? Okay? Ano yung mga uh, Let's say, homegrown products. Dito sa atin, usually mga uh, palay, okay, the rice. We also have uh, the PCC, okay, the gatas ng kalabaw. So, yung may mga dairy products din tayo. Okay, five is, who are your target customers? Uh, in the first modules, uh, dinedefine na natin to. Kung sino talaga yung inyong uh, potential customers na bibili na inyong product. Next is, uh, Potential selling price, okay? Lower the price, lower potential profit per unit. But, uh, it translates into marketing dollars, okay? So, yung marketing dollars ito, potential customers. So, since uh, very thrift tayo ngayon, since medyo nagihig talaga ng sintoron, nagkaharap tayo ng mas murang products, okay? So, kung may nakita tayong murang products, ikukwento natin yung sa iba natin makakilala. So, Kaya niya sinasabi dito, marketing dollars, yung isang tao na nagustuhan yung quality ng product mo and affordable price, ikukwento niya sa iba. Next, what is your potential markup? Let's say, for example, you compute everything, the production cost, the labor cost, and then, let's say, for example, you come up with uh, 25 pesos. So, that is the uh, price per unit. So, magkano ipapatong mo doon? Let's say, for, for example, five, additional 5 pesos. Okay? So, yun na yung magiging market price mo. So, the total uh, selling price is 30 pesos. Okay? So, mag-decide ka paano ka makakakuha ng markup. Either mag-survey ka sa mga competitors kung magkano talaga yung selling price nila. Let's say, for example, 32 pesos. Okay? So, reasonable yung 30 pesos na selling price mo kahit na naglagay ka ng additional 5 pesos na markup. Okay? Next... How many SKUs uh, will you have to stock? SKU means uh, stock keeping units. Okay, ilan, let's say for example, uh, t-shirt. Ilan yung blue na iiwan mo, ilan yung red na iiwan mo. Okay, so, ayan, types or styles of product. It could also be uh, in barcode type or letter types. Yung para matandaan nyo kung ilan yung mga uh, available ninyong stocks. Okay. Next is, uh, can you offer subscriptions? Uh, this one, businesses offer subscriptions to, uh, ayan, to customer to increase, uh, ayan, lifetime customer value. Uh, because uh, subscriptions, a major benefit is the savings or the discounts. Next is the, okay, product size and weight. Okay. So, let's say, for example, uh, especially in the packaging. 
gano'n ba kalaki yung products ninyo? So, ilan ang mailalaman dun sa isang ganito kalaking box? Or ilan yung offer nyo? By 10s ba? O by 12s? Okay? Next, how durable is your product? Okay, a durable product is more, always more ideal. So, yung pangmatagalan. Okay, next is... Ayan. Will you face seasonality wings? Okay, so yung mga... Let's say, for example, yung mga fruits na seasonal. Uh, mangoes. Then, so, paano nyo ma-solusyonan yun? So, saan kayo hahanap ng additional suppliers? Okay. Uh, does your product serve a fashion or soul pain? Okay. Yun nga yung sinasabi natin noon na ano yung mga products na kailangan ng customer na makakasolusyon sa kanilang mga problema. And then, is your product consumable or disposable? So, pag uh, consumable, better na maglagay ng mga best before days or expiration dates. Uh, disposable, uh, marami na tayo nito. Yung mga disposable uh, spoon and forks, mga plates. Okay. And next is, ayan, is your product perishable? Uh, so, dito naman, kailangan mas mabilis ang inyong uh, inventory turnover and then yung pag uh, bibenta and especially gaano lang karami yung kaya niyo i-produce para uh, ma-beat yung hanggang kailan siya pwedeng masira okay also the transportation kapag perishable goods kailangan mabilis okay and then are there any restriction or regulations in your product so Uh, if yan yung mga, let's say, mga medicines, mag-offer kayo ng mga medicines, uh, is it approved by the government, by the ADC, let's say, Food and Drug Administration? Okay, so these are the 16 criteria that you can at least discuss with your groupmates kung ano ba ang pwedeng may apply ninyo sa inyong magiging product. Now for what's more, Okay, so based on the product you wish to offer. Okay, you can fill out this uh, evaluation uh, with regards to the feature of your product. Uh, this one is an individual activity. Write it in your notebook po. Okay. Next. Okay, so what I have learned, if you want to add some more on this, you can do so and write it in your notebook also. And then, what I can do, so you can read this statements as a basis for your business plan. So, in, in, in additional activity, you can use it, okay, so the, with this strategy formulation, you can, do, you can use this uh, format, fill out the blanks. But you can also do your own. Okay? So this is also for group activities. And so for additional activities. And so you can do this one as a basis. Okay, so I think that ends uh, the uh, module 2, lesson 3 discussion. So uh This module will be good for week 5 and week 6, okay? And the format for the additional activities will be sent to you. So, that's all for now. Uh, I do hope you could have a fruitful discussion with your colleagues. Bye-bye!